Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do this cute ninja bun hairstyle with faux sot burns. So if you want to see how I did this kid friendly and toddler and baby, whichever you want to choose to do it with, stay tuned. Oh, I'm starting out with air dried hair. I let her hair air dry for a day. I'll leave my air dry and regimen routine down below so you can see how I prep her hair for this hairstyle. So I begin first with her sideburn braid and I'm using the tail end of my rat tail comb to part her hair. I'm adding some edge control. This is um, edge control that I'm working for with Taylor Beauty but um, you can feel free to use an edge control of your choice. And what I am doing now is I am braiding her hair towards her face. So I am face to face with her while I do this braid. Um, so I do apologize if I am in the camera. So when you get to this part of braiding, um, you definitely want to make sure that you are very gentle uh, because this is her edges and you just don't want to cause any breakage or damage. So when I do this braid, I'm not braiding tight at all. And I really like to take my time while I am braiding. So once I get closer to the ends, I will twist. Um, I twist because it causes less damage when it's time to take it out. So now let's move on to the second braid. So for the second braid, I'm going at a, a 45 degree angle on this braid. And I'm also using the end of my comb. So I begin by catching her hair at the top of her braid. And also, in a lot of my videos, I did mention that I do not comb her hair. So this is a great way for me to show how I can do her hair without combing it. As you can see, I did only use the rat tail part of the comb to part her hair, but I did not detangle with a comb before I braided it. So sometimes when I do braid, it does get tangled. So I'm just going to show you how I combat that as well. So I'm also sweeping the edge control into her hair as I continue to braid with a soft toothbrush. So now as you can see, I start getting some tangles. So what I like to do is I just gently use my fingers to detangle them. Um, if I do have tangles, I'll just add a little bit of my everything butter and I'll just kind of just detangle it with my fingers. Um, the butter does add a lot of slip, so I like to keep her hair very, very moisturized while I braid it. As you can see, there was no need for me to comb her hair. I just used my fingers to kind of get the tangles out. I'm not ripping her hair. I'm just being very, very, very gentle. As you can see, she's not squirming. She's not screaming. She's just sitting there very patiently. That's how gentle I am when I'm braiding her hair. So now I just sped this up so you guys can see how I finished the braid. Once I got halfway through, I began to twist and continue to moisturize her hair as I got through the braid. So next I'm going to begin on the smaller braid. This adds a whole lot of creativity to this hairstyle and it makes it stand out so much more in my opinion. So I made a smaller part and I'm just going to go ahead and section the bigger part off. So this is sped up, but as you can see, I'm just going to um, braid and moisturize her hair as I go down with that smaller braid. And I know I don't show you guys a lot of my braiding hairstyles on my channel, and that's because I personally don't like braids. And um, when I do braid, I like to keep I like to keep it at a minimum, um, just because. I just don't want her to grow impatient and sometimes the braiding does um, hurt a little bit more than twist. Um, so as you can see, I try to be as gentle as possible and I try to keep my braids big so that she doesn't have to sit for hours and get her hair braided. And I'm just going ahead and twisting that one as well. 
So now moving on to the last braid. Um, it's the same braid as the other little braid. We've already sectioned that part off. And I'm just going ahead and making a smaller braid right there. And to complete the top half of this hairstyle, you want to do everything on the other side in the same exact order. So for the back, I just made two bigger braids that are at 45 degree angles. And in order for me to do these braids, I had her lay down on my lap with a pillow so that I could braid her hair upwards to do this part. So this is how the back will look when everything is all completed. So now it's time to create the ninja bun and what I'm doing is I'm taking a elastic hair tie and I'm just gathering all the braids from the half of her hair into a hair tie. And I'm going to go ahead and twist them up. And then I'm going to ravel them around the bun, but I want them to be really, really high. So I create a loop in the center of the bun and then I wrap it around. And I use the elastic hair tie and I kind of wrap it around the bun since her hair is black and the hair tie is black. It kind of all blends together. And to finish this hairstyle up and tone it down some so that it's more kid friendly, I just add some beads to the sideburns. She loves beads and I secure them with a rubber band. So here is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. And if you find this video very helpful, make sure you share it with another mom. I'll leave some helpful videos down below and if you have any questions, please be sure to ask and thanks for watching.